This is Matrix Lord 212, and my question for about Doctor Who today is, why doesn't the regeneration in Journey's End count? Um, why doesn't it? Why doesn't it count towards one of the Doctor's regenerations? Um, we see that in Let's Kill Hitler, uh, River Song used up her regenerations, and just because you use regeneration and you don't change your form, doesn't mean that um, it doesn't count because it does. So, if River Song's regenerations count when she used it to save the Doctor, why doesn't the Journey's End one count? Now, the Doctor expelled all the energy into the hand. Okay, so you know, obviously, to use up that energy, it has to can be considered as a regeneration, wouldn't it? Or maybe not. See, that's the question. Like. Uh, I was talking to, uh, I just subscribed now, King Scribe, I was talking to Sexy Blues, Johnny Blues, I was talking to Dr. Freedom, and that's a question, I mean, Scribe basically started this discussion uh, well over uh, a while ago, and I just brought it up again, because um, it's come about, like, how many times can the Doctor still regenerate? Uh, and if you do count that, then he can only regenerate one more time, so... Um, Maybe it doesn't count because it would have to have the effect of um, transforming your form. I don't know, but this is something uh, that I'm setting out there for you guys to figure out. Does the Journey's End episode where David Tennant's about to regenerate and he puts the energy into the hand and then that regeneration energy creates another Doctor, does that regeneration count? Um, not as David Tennant being... Uh, the 10th and 11th Doctor, but count as a regeneration, meaning that he used one up, so he has to use only one more left, alright, so leave your comments below and please subscribe.